Let's talk about the uh, duck race. Now, how, how are we making all these ducks waddle and run? <laughs> well, it's easy because they're rubber ducks and they pretty much do whatever you tell them to. <laughs> so this is a rubber duck race in Tularosa. Okay, so what exactly um, is a rubber duck race? What are we doing? All right, so the Tularosa Arts and History Council and the Tularosa Community Ditch Corporation are co-hosting a family event on Saturday, July 29th, and it will take place at the St. Francis de Paula Fiesta Grounds in Tularosa's Historic District starting from 11 and going until 5. In addition to the duck race, there will be live music, food trucks, games for the kids, and they should plan to get wet. Um, We have some fun games planned. Uh, demonstrations, and then educational information on water preservation and how the Tularosa ditch system works. But the best part is the rubber duck race, and that'll go down one of the original sections of Tularosa's historic Acequia Madre along Encino on the south side of the Fiesta grounds. What you do is you basically rent a duck, I guess, $5 per duck, or $25 $25 for a six quack. A six um, quack. <laughs> a six quack, yep. Yes, sir. And um, all of those ducks go into a bin. And then at the time of the start of the race, they are dumped into the irrigation ditch at the same time. And they're numbered. So you'll know what number your duck is. And then at the end of the race, it's just about a two and a half block segment. The first duck to the finish line wins. And then there's several heats. So you can kind of do it throughout the day. And then there's a big race at the end with all of the ducks in it. Uh, we don't know exactly how many that'll be, but we do have 500 ducks available. So we'd love it if 500 ducks were um, I sponsored. Yeah. So let, yeah. let's say that there's a radio loudmouth with some uh, history in electronics that new ways to modify the duck to make it, oh, I don't know, turbo powered. Would that be permitted? <laughs> No, sir. All of the ducks, in fact, only duck, we have duck handlers. That's their title. The duck handlers are the only ones who handle the ducks. So like if you come to me and I'm ready to help get you set up, you're going to tell me how many ducks you want. And then I'm going to, we're going to pull them out of the next sequence. So let's say you arrive and you got ducks 100 through 106. And I'm going to take your ducks for you and put them in the heats that they will go in whether it's the next heat or they're spread out over several heats. So you don't actually get to even handle your duck, but you'll know what your duck numbers are. So then you just go have fun, do stuff, and then when it's time for your duck to race, because you'll know the heat number, you will come to the start or the finish, wherever you want to root your duck on, and we keep the ducks. There are ducks for sale, and all of the kids' games and prizes are duck-themed, well, most of them. There'll be plenty of opportunity to get a duck, but not a racing duck. Well, this sounds like a whole lot of fun and the type of event that yeah. could the whole family come out and just have a great time. Yeah, this would be good. So one more time, when and where? So it's in Tularosa and basically near the St. Francis de Paula Fiesta ground. It, once you get to Tularosa, the town is small enough, but the intersection to look for maybe on your GPS would be 3rd and Encino. And it's from 11 to 5 on July 29th. And we are still having a few more spaces for vendors as well as sponsorships. And you can learn more about that at www.trytularosa.org. You can also call the chairman, Michael, 505-350-4531. And I don't want to forget to say there's also live music. Starting at 11, we have Wiley Stevens, a great local guy from Cloudcroft, Mayhill area, and then Sancho and the side piece at about 12, and Rosewater Blues finishing the day at 3 o'clock. I've so, heard Sancho, that, that they're good, mm-hmm. and Rosewater is yeah. awesome. The first one you mentioned, that name doesn't ring a bell. Who was it again? The artist's name is Wiley Stevens. He's from the Mayhill area. Uh, one-man band, super fun, does uh, mostly covers, but... He's just a a real fun guy, rock and blues and whatever he kind of feels like. He's getting us started off. Well, that is awesome. So live music, food vendors, arts and crafts, kids' games, displays, and the rubber ducky races. Um, Sounds like a whole lot of fun. Jen, before I let you go, is there anything else you want to throw at us? No, that's it. We just really want to welcome everybody throughout Otero County to come to Tularosa. We're very proud of that. Asikia system is 
one of the longest, uh, covers the most area, and has just been such an incredibly important part of Tularosa and the Tularosa Basin. And we'd love for people to come learn about it and learn how to take care of it and how to how to take care of water in general.